going to be talking, I'm doing a review. It's day three of the 90 day video challenge I'm doing and I am reviewing my Amazon camera bag which I've been using, I should have looked it up before I started this video, but I've been using at least two years, probably more like three. And it is still quite sturdy. Everything is intact and it wasn't that expensive and especially it wasn't that expensive compared to the other camera bags of a similar size that I've been, I had been looking at. So the type of photography that I do is on site portraits, fast portraits though. And, um, so like I'll be on assignment, I'll be in a location for 15 minutes, um, including and doing location shots. And um, if I'm doing it right, I'll get in and get out in 15 minutes. They like that. Even though I have 45 minutes and I would prefer 45 minutes, they're like, nope, I have to go. I'll get into that later. And I also do event photography. So I'm moving around a lot and I need a variation of lenses sometimes because I don't know uh, what the situation will be for the event photography. So like, will it be sunny? Will it be overcast? Will I be taking more portraits or will it be sometimes I've shot concerts and I didn't know what the lighting in the concert room would be. So I, it's always a mystery. So I do like having a lot of my gear with me in the car. Sometimes I'll bring it into the venue or sometimes I won't, but let's talk about the, the individual jobs I would do. So one of the jobs when I was doing portraits was for Doc, ZocDoc, which was basically taking pictures of the doctors for marketing purposes as well as their offices, sometimes their staff. So I put this whoa, into the car and I liked it because it allows me to, you know what, maybe I'll get into the jobs that I did later, but basically I've acquired a lot of, whoop, <laughs> the one reason you don't, you know, do this stuff with a, a cell phone camera, but anyway, I've acquired a lot of equipment through the years and I like to have a lot of it with me and including my, um, you know, manual for my camera. So when I go out and shoot, this is great because I can bring a lot of my stuff. It goes on my back. I can grab it by this handle and I'm going to just start by saying, also, for three years, it's not got any wear and tear, even though I've used it pretty much on a daily basis through large chunks of time. And then maybe there's like a couple months where I, like I didn't bring it to L.A. when I had to work there for several months last year. So I didn't bring it with me. So I guess it got a rest. But this has gotten a lot of action and it's still in great shape. So what I like about it, it has these coils in here ooh, that you can put. I put my tripod in here sometimes. Sometimes it has these latches and I'll sometimes put the tripod in here. These side pockets will get charger. This is the charger for my camera battery. I won't open it out, but, and then this is the charger for my rechargeable batteries. Um, maybe in the future I'll do a whole what I carry in my bag, although this is pretty much gonna cover it. Um, I do have some other equipment other places. So when I was doing event photography, I needed these extra pockets because I also was carrying a notebook and I'd sometimes have to take notes. Who am I talking to? What am I photographing? Because I needed to put the slug in for uh, when I was submitting the pictures to the paper. And then also this is the Mac Daddy area of photography equipment for this bag. You can't see a thing because I'm not lifting it. All right, I'm going to stand up because I don't want to. So th see how that is so nicely. It carries everything I need and it does it in a succinct way. I have an ex two extra lenses in here. Okay, I'm actually gonna, oh, I think if I, okay, no, I'll just hold it. One downside, it's super heavy, but that's because I have a lot of equipment in it. So I have the camera. This is just a bunch of flash triggers and other battery type stuff that I use when I set up with other like kits and everything. I don't carry light kits to any of these jobs, by the way. My flash, I have another flash that I don't carry with me. I'm gonna do a video on flashes um, another time. I have, so they, I have, this is um, my nifty, nope, this is my long lens, this is my macro lens, this is my nifty 50. And then I have other stuff in here like, um, you know, 
other protectors, and then a light cleaning kit. And what I like also here is I have a whole system of, in this back, this is where I keep batteries that have been charged, and if I have to switch out the battery either in the flash or my camera, I put it down here so that I know it needs to be charged. I also have a number of memory cards in this little plastic case. So I have a system of using it that's kept me organized too throughout everything, and I really appreciate that. I've gotten caught in bad weather, having to bring my equipment in, and this is really held up. I love that, even though it gets heavy, I love that I can strap it to my back as a backpack. You know, it's, and it makes me look tidy. You know, that's another thing. I wear all black and I look put together when I carry this in. And that's important. And so that is, even when I'm dressed well, it's with a backpack. Yeah, I look a little bit like a student, but it's still a good choice. I wish there was a place to put a water bottle, but maybe not because I don't really want water near my equipment, but it's still, I always need water for shoots and I always bring it in. I usually have a little front purse bag that I, you know, use to switch out lenses real fast, usually for those 15 minute gigs that I was telling you about in case like something changes. Same thing with events. If I want to just really fast change my, um, to my portrait, my Nifty 50 to do some portraits. But for the most part, it's this bag and I'll pick out what I need and go into the job. So, and I can always go back to my car to switch it out. So that's basically it for this bag. I highly recommend it. It's been fantastic. It's durable, keeps my stuff dry, though it's not waterproof, but it keeps my stuff dry long enough to run from one place to the other and like my car to uh, an office. And it, it looks like it's gonna last me a really long time beyond these three years even if I use it every day. And that's all I have to say today. Thank you for watching, and I will talk to you tomorrow. Have